Hi guys, welcome to another P. Carry 12 Productions. Now we're going to be looking at iMovie on the iPad. Now this is recently a new release that was released for pretty much the iPad 2 and the, of course, uh, iPhone 4. Now let's go into iMovie, obviously. And you'll see, obviously, the project screen. I've done a test movie for this one. Uh, you've probably noticed it already uploaded. If you're wondering what that video was, this is pretty much the video that I uploaded, the completed project in iMovie for the iPad and the iPhone 4. So, what I'm looking at here is pretty much the main menu. So you got down the bottom there, you've got the timeline, as you can see. It's gone back and forth. Very simple, very usable. Now over on the right corner there, here is where you would select all your theme project settings uh, for anything you may want to apply. There's a couple of themes you can use. There's a theme music button, which you can also choose with to turn off and on, a loop fade in and fade out options for your specific video project. In this case, we're just using one of those themes. Now on the left top side, you've pretty much got all your videos that you have on your iPad currently, which would be stored in your photo section. Now all you have to do is tap on it and pretty much that is where it'll just insert wherever your timeline is set to. So we've got a video that's put in, now all you have to do is double tap and you'll get your clip settings. So this is where you put your t title style in there, so if you want to say your opening, your middle or your ending. In this case, we're going to just add the middle section. So now you've added your middle section for that particular theme, all you have to do is add your text, as you can see here. Very straightforward, very easy to do. Right. Let's get back to clip settings. All of the other options you have also now is location, so you can change the location for anything like that. Turn off and on the actual audio if you want to see background music, and you can also obviously delete the clip, which we've just done. So. Obviously this is a complete project already, but I'll show you a few things that you can do also. Now you notice you have your theme music there. Right, so with music in general, you can actually change, uh, you can actually put your photos in there as well, as I said. Uh, you can also choose anything from your photo library as well as all the themes and music that is included with iMovie. So sound effects, iMovie, theme music, whatever. You can change the background theme music to anything you want and turn it on and off. These are all the sound effects you can use that come default with iMovie on the iPad too. And pretty much this is all your iPod music as well. As long as it's not copyrighted, you can drag and drop any music you like completely over and put it straight on. Right, so, there is the clip settings for that particular background clip, so you can increase the volume or delete the uh, back. This is the new sequence uh, adjustment for your particular audio. This is where you would adjust it, like you would in iMovie 11, except it's a little bit more different than obviously how you would do it conventionally on iMovie 11. There is a few markers that come up pretty much that allow you to adjust the wavelengths of each particular sound file. Now that's pretty much the overall of iMovie. Now, basically, all the transitions are all in there and everything like that, and this is what the final product looks sort of look like, as you can see. Right, so you've probably seen this already since this is probably already uploaded. But nonetheless, this is the number one thing. So once you've finished everything, there's one more thing to do. 
and that is to go back to my projects. So there's a number of options you can choose now from your finished project. As you can see we can save it to our camera roll, you can save it to YouTube, Facebook and various other places also. So what we're going to do is upload this to YouTube. Now this is already uploaded to YouTube as you already know so this video came straight after this. So as you can see I'm just putting in my password and login details for YouTube. But as you can see iMovie for the iPad is brilliant. It's very easy to use. It's a little bit way it's way better than using the iPhone 4 version, I can tell you that. Even though it is technically the same version, it's still way more easier to do it on the iPad. There's a few more extra features that you get on the iPad, but it definitely makes makes it very useful now to use. And if they complete the full iLife package on the iPad, you'll have a full computer pretty much. I will be reviewing after this one at some point in time GarageBand. GarageBand for the iPad. So let me know what you guys think of the new iMovie for the iPad and iPad 2 and the iPhone 4 and the iPod Touch fourth generation of course. Oh, fifth generation sorry. So let me know what you think and as you can see here at the moment I'm just typing in the credentials you need to put in for YouTube Now I'm choosing the category, as you can see it's just like normal YouTube, uploads, you have all the categories available to you at your disposal. And all the tag options you need to put in, so it can be searchable very easily on YouTube. You can see I've just put in three. So that is pretty sweet, as you can see. So. The other options obviously have is size, so I'm going to put in HD and I'm going to make it a public public video. And whatever, when you've done all that, all you have to do is then hit share. And that'll export and upload the movie completely for you. That is pretty much all you need to know on iMovie. And as I said before, let me know in the comments what you think. And yeah, cheers for watching.